Hello everybody and welcome back to more Python Challenge. It's been a really long time since I've made these videos, but I hope to kind of get back in the groove. Where we left off, we were on, uh, this peak. <laughs> we just moved to the fifth challenge on Python Challenge. Um, we finally got here, and what we're staring at right in front of us is this picture of, <laughs> I guess, a, a, a green hill? Or peak? A hill? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. The the only uh, kind of hint that we have here is pronounce it, and there's literally nothing else on the page. There's no scroll bar or anything else I can see. So it just says pronounce it. Um, hill, <laughs> grass, mountain. I don't I don't know what else it's getting at. I mean, obviously, okay, peak. I can see up at the top. Uh, the title of the page is oh, hang on, that's my Sublime Text window. Sorry. The title of the uh, of the Firefox window is peak hell. Peak hell. I don't know what else I can get from pronouncing it. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of see what we can do if we look at the source, because that seems to be a pretty common trend with all these. Title peak hell. Style.css. I wonder if there's anything in the CSS file. And there's the image of the peak hell. Not JPEG. Pronounce it. And the comment here is, Peak Hell sound familiar? Peak Hell. Peak Hell. Peak Hill. Peak Hill. Kill Peas. Peakle. Pickle. Oh! Pickle. Pickle. Is that right? Pickle? Is Peak... Let's see. I'm gonna go to my URL. Peak Hill. Peak Hill in HTML. That doesn't exist. Is there a hill.html? Hill.html? No. Pickle. I'm gonna try pickle. I'm gonna do it. Pickle. <laughs> Pickle.html. Yes! Pickle. Okay. <laughs> what does that help me with? Pickle. Um. I'm gonna Google Python pickle. Hey! Okay. That's a thing. I'm gonna go to the documentations. Whoa. Okay. The pickle module implements a fundamental but powerful algorithm for serializing and deserializing a Python object structure. I don't know what that means. Serializing. To arrange something in a series. I think that, that probably makes the most sense here. Oh, in computer science, let's see, Wikipedia. In computer science, serialization is the process of translating data structures to format that can be stored and reconstructed later in the same way. Okay, that's cool. So what does that help me with for my picture? I have a, I have a picture of a hill here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna close out of the Wikipedia. Pickling is a process where a Python object is converted to a byte stream, and unpickling is the inverse operation. Okay. And it's converting to and from an object hierarchy. How do I use it? What does it do? To serialize an object, you first create a pickler, and then you call the pickler's dump method. To deserialize a data stream, you first create an unpickler, and then you call the unpickler's load method. Okay. So which one are we going to want to do? I have an image. Anything else? What can be pickled and unpickled? Okay. Following thing can be pickled. Boolean values. Numbers. Strings. Uh, do I have to read the raw data of the image or something? I'm looking at the source one more time. View page source. There's nothing in the CSS file, is there? Style.css. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, it was worth it. Um. Oh, what is this? <laughs> That's not HTML, I don't think. Not not in any HTML versions I've seen. There was no tag called pkel. And it's, okay, source is banner.p. Can I go there? Banner.p. Oh! Save file. Or open with. Do I? Yeah. 
Let's take a look at it first. Just show me it in Google Chrome. Whoa! Whoa! What is all that? I just zoomed in a bunch so you can see this. I don't know what any of this is, but if I were to guess, this is probably like the output of something that has been pickled. So we need to unpickle it, right? It says if you if you to uh, to deserialize the data stream, you first create an unpickler and then you call the unpickler's load method. Okay. Is that what we're going to do on this mess? Let's try it. What I'm going to do is download that. So I'm going to view the page source again. Click on this guy. Oh, okay, no. Uh, I think I just did it in my URL, yeah. And I save the file. I'm going to save it to my desktop because that's where I actually have my Python file right now. And I'm going to go into my text editor, Sublime Text. It looks like the pickle module is, yeah, it's part of the Python standard library, so we should just be able to import it pretty easily. Import pickle. And how do I use load? Load method. Pickle.load. Read a string from the open file object file. Okay. So, pickle.load. And I just save the file in my desktop, banner.p. And let's set it to be uh, pick, pick, I guess. If I print that out, what do I get? String has no attribute read line. What? Read a stream from the open file object file. Oh, okay, okay. It has to be an object file. So I have to, I have to use Py you have to use Python's uh, built-in function open as if you were opening this file like an object handle. And uh, now when we run this, whoa, -ho! we get a list of stuff. You can see it down here at the bottom of my text editor. What is this? It looks like I see one array and I see another array because you can see the opening braces. And it's filled with like tuples or tuples, I guess. Can we loop through that? What do we do with that? It's a character and then a number. So, okay. If I... I I would think that if it's it's like kind of compressing these things or serializing them, these data things, that means to put in a series, right? Serializing. Yeah, arrange something in a series. So maybe this character is just repeated this number of times. So let's let's look at it. For item in pick. That's going to be one of the arrays. And I can see there's multiple, and I want to get the tuples inside. So, for thing in item, <laughs> I guess. Can I print the thing? What do I get here? Okay, yeah, so now it's like a boatload of... Boatload of tuples. Tuples, however you want to pronounce it. And I want to, I want to get this character this many times. So, print thing 0 being the character, multiplied by thing 1 B. What? What is this? Well, that doesn't help me. Um, what if I remove the new line? No? Now it's just a bunch of these things. <laughs> now it's all in the horizontal line. That doesn't help either. Um, maybe I have to create a new line after each, after each one. Print this thing. Whoa! What does this say? What the f what the heck? Can you guys read that at all? That's a C. I can make that out. That's a H. That one, the, that one, this one here, looks like an A. N, N. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna open up Sublime Text to be a little bit bigger and have it do this one more time. Channel. Is this an E? Channel channels. I'm just gonna try throwing that in in Python challenge and see what happens. Because it looks like it says channels, but I can't work I can't figure it out. I'm just gonna try it. So go up here, channels dot html. That doesn't that doesn't exist. What is that? Because this this last character looks like an S, but is it channel? Is it singular? Hey! <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I guess I guess we got it. Sweet. There we go. Huh. Okay. Well, there we go, guys. I mean, we did it. Just nine lines of code, a little less. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, what do we learn here? I guess the pickle module. That's kind of cool. Um, serializing and deserializing Python objects. And, I mean, that's how you... I mean, I guess we figured it out. <laughs> Just kind of reading through the documentation and looking at the clues, we were able to figure out that last challenge, and now we're on to challenge number six. Whatever the heck this is, <laughs> we'll take a look at it in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this.